this is a visual piano developed earlier. Let me just show you guys how it works. And that is how it works. So what I will do now is take you guys straight into Java Netbean development environment and I show you how to put one of these together. So let's go into Java Netbean now. Welcome to Java Netbean tutorial. I'm going to start by going to File, New Project, select Java and Java Application, click on Next. I'll give that a name because I'm going to be developing virtual piano. So I'm going to call that virtual underscore piano underscore keys. Now click on finish if you notice my class here create class is unchecked click on finish now that the file is generated right click on the file name itself select new jframe and let's give that a name to visual piano and the same thing right here maybe with an s click on finish I have my visual piano environment ready just drag to about that okay maybe take it down a little bit more and uh, now now right click on it select layout go right down and select non layer right there and the next thing I will do is uh, let's go to the palette here select panel just paste that somewhere there drag it across um change the panel let's right click on it as well and change it to layer will be none and come to the property let's change the border style to eight and the color let's make the color white click on ok then the background color for this palette itself let me change the background color to black itself yeah the next thing we want to do is to add some buttons click and that is my first button there I will drag it right down okay to about that I think that should do it add the second button add my second button right there right click on it and move up that's it select it to about that that's fine go to the property and change as follows the background color for this button will be white so you select awt palette or black really i want it to be black make that black the second button the background color for that will be white so let's go to AWT Palette White. Click on OK. Now both buttons, I intend to change the font. Let's change the font to about 24 bold. And set the alignment, vertical alignment right here. Let's set that to bottom. Now let's change this button right there. Let's change the color, the font, font color to white. Now, select the first button and change the text to C. The second button, let's change the text of that. Let's change that to C, C sharp, if I'm right. Okay, I also need a title up there. Let's go for label, right there. I want a label there. And this label, let's change the font. Let's change the font to approximately. Let's go for 90. Make that bold. Change the color to white. Let's try again. Change the color to white. Okay, let's change the data in it to the property and change the data in there to visual piano and just drag it along 
possible with that is fun I will have that there I'm going to select both and just drag it down a little bit yeah about that now I need as follows let's go back to the palette let's select maybe radio buttons or checkbox I don't know uh, I prefer maybe checkbox let's paste the checkbox there and know the checkbox both checkbox we need to group both checkbox select button group that's it right there I've selected the button group let's drop it on board I think I may have to now and select the checkbox and go to your property where it says button group drop it down select button group one that's the one I intend to use select the other checkbox go back to button group and select button group two you can see the line grouping them together now I will then select boot and change the font size let's change the font size to something readable and we will make that 36 that looks large though and the first one let's change that to change the property of that to music music notes and and the second one I will call that select the second one and just call that visual steel drum there okay let's drag it along so the user have a choice of which musical instrument they would like to use either the visual steel drum or just the music so now if i double click on this okay scroll right up there and let's import the following okay you have to import sounded audio and the other two files now back into your design view see so this very one let's let's give it a name let's give it a name before the coding starts I'm just gonna call that JBC you can see the C is in uppercase and the other one let's just give it a name as well JBC JBC S because it has C sharp something like that alright so now double click on this very one Double click on it. I will then enter the following variable there. You can call your variable whatever you like. Input I audio. Before I continue, let me just give this one's names. So let's come in there and select each individual. That is checkbox two. So just let's just call it J C H K. I'll just call it steel okay that's for steel drum the other one will be JCHK music there that's fine now that they both have their name so double click on that and just right underneath here I will now enter the following lines of codes so that is if the music note is checked I would like the system to play the following music notes if you guys want to see the mu those music notes let me show you so that you guys can see where they are the music notes are all right here so I've named them to make life easy for me you can see the one I'm just calling right now and if I want to call the other one which is C sharp I think that one will be Q that is it right there okay now that is for my first music tone so which means if that button is selected I'll be able to play this so if I run it I will be only be able to select just one and play the other one there's no code in there I haven't called the other one so if I run my program now 
click on OK, that's the first time I'm running it. You see, nothing is happening. But if I check on these, you hear that, guys. Okay, let's go back into the development environment. First thing, we need to change this font to white because it wasn't visible. Let's change those fonts to white. Back. That's where is it? Font. Let's change them to white. There. And we know the background color will definitely default to black. Right. So double click on this and go back in there. I'll just copy all of these else if is the J C H K still if that's the checkbox selected we want it to play the steel drum I think the steel drum is that is that is it right there so right click and just copy the name take it down and change this to that there so if I compile and run let's compile and run so if I select this that's what you get if I select this okay so what I would do now is just to speed up the development of this interface let's populate the whole panel with buttons then I'll get back to you guys okay I've finished with the design of the interface but well, I think maybe I should change this the name I should just change it to steel drum let, let me let me get that sorted instead of visual steel drum yeah I think that's much better Let's move it here. Reduce this a bit. Let's move it to the edge somewhere here. Okay, so let's see how this one looks. So move this in here a little bit. Alright. Then the next thing is if I sh let me show you guys the codes right here. I've already imported java dot awt color because i intend to use as follows if i right click on the form i want the window activate i want the color to be changed to black so which means anytime or whenever i run it compile and run the background will be black right there guys you can see the background is all black now and the steel drum itself is more pronounced I click on this nothing is happening until I select one of those and nothing happens here so all I just need to do now is go back to the design view double click on this copy the lines of codes here let me copy it all so that you guys can see it. Okay, move it up. I'm gonna copy this. It's either I copy that or just copy copy it all. I think up to here. Copy that. This is the line of code that you need. But if you have two checkbox like me, then you will need two of these. So that's why I have two come back here double click on this and paste it right in there now the music tune for that is D so I'm going to change that to D and change this to D as well if I compile and run let's run the program now right there if I select music let's select still okay music so what I'll do next is just speed it up 
and uh, I'll get back to you guys now finish all the coding so if I click on any of these and right here I have my variable in place all you need is just from here down here so if any of these checkbox is selected that's all you need okay and you want the music to this verify so I would advise you to to make sure you name your files make sure the naming is uh, consistent so that I won't give you any problem I've also used try cache in case there's any error and this will pop up okay, just from here down here that's for each of the music notes but if I select the other one the other music note then this comes in as you can see it's just the same lines of codes that's all you need from here down here okay so what I'll do now is let me compile and run it there we go so if I click on any of these, supposing, you see nothing is happening, the reason being I haven't selected my option. So if I click on that, okay now let's try out the steel drum. As soon as I click on the steel drum, this one is deselected. So let's give it a shot and see. So with that I'll just call it the end of this program, I suppose you all enjoy it. So with that I'll just say bye for now.